Hey guys, I thought it would be fun to do an impromptu kind of shop with me slash haul for our office that we are creating in our basement. Hey guys, Sarah here from Work Life Glue. I don't often do like shop with me and haul videos. I usually feel like I don't buy anything that interesting, but I am planning to go shopping by myself, kid free, which is amazing, um, to quite a few stores. I am starting from scratch on our office. I have never created a room from scratch all at once, so it's just like a new process for me. I have a lot in mind, but I don't really know exactly what I want or what I can find. So I will be going to Hobby Lobby, Home Goods, um, Kirkland's, Marshalls and Target. If I have time, I might do Goodwill if I feel up to it, but I'm seven months pregnant and so, and it's like pretty humid and hot out, so I don't know how far I will get, but thought I would take you guys along and then show you what I got. So as I mentioned, I was mainly looking for stuff for our office and I was mainly looking for a, a quite a few things and I just really wanted to go around the store and really look at things, get ideas. I also picked up a couple things like you see here for like the dining room that I saw that were on sale. But the main thing I was looking for was like some metal wire grid display boards instead of a cork board or a really pretty cork board. Some pops of mint green, gold, peach or coral, which are all colors that I want in my branding and that I really want in the room. Maybe some abstract art and just different things that inspire me with different quotes and things that inspire me. Something to go above the couch and I didn't really know if that would be an art piece or like um, a mirror, which I didn't think would work very well because I will be filming and so it's very reflective or some kind of like metal piece and then just some accessories for the shelf unit. I did find a lot of other things and things on sale, but um, I spent most of the time at Hobby Lobby, as you can see, and really just had a lot of fun filming everything. But um, I was also able to go into Home Goods and look around a little bit. They didn't have a whole lot that in their selection but Kirkland's I was not able to go in. Marshall's didn't really have a lot, but Hobby Lobby was really the main place. I got some great deals that I will show you guys in just a minute, but I just had a lot of fun getting out and being on my own and going around stores, which I haven't been able to do in so long, which I'm sure you guys can all relate. Some things that I really wanted to get that I didn't find were some fun pillows, and just a final decision on what I'm gonna put above the couch. As you will see, I'm still undecided, but I do have an idea in mind that I actually found on Etsy since this video was recorded. Okay guys, so this is the room that I've been working on. This is our office. I'm trying to make it um, kind of a white, brass, gold, I don't know what color you call this. Um, navy blue with pops of like mint green and like coral but like i don't want it to be all too matchy matchy but that's kind of what i'm going with i want it to fit my work life glue i'm working on branding right now uh, and that's always been my favorite colors and so i just really want it to reflect me but i want it to be kind of a little bit more mature and um I don't know, fun, I don't know, just a, a slightly different vibe than the rest of our house because it's only an adult space, I don't have to share it with kids. But I can link to where I got all this stuff, it's pretty much all on Amazon. This is actually a futon that can fold down. Um, this was only like $100 and this was pretty inexpensive. I have a little side table coming, but now I'm feeling maybe it's not as balanced, I don't really know. But my hope is to be able to like sit on this couch and I can film from this direction and have like one background I can film from this direction and have a slightly different background or I could film head on or if I'm at my desk here sitting and I have my computer and I'm doing like a live you'll see kind of the whole thing in the background so it can't be too reflective we do have this soffit here but it's just this light gray um, like Stonington gray color we have in most of our house this stuff um, this and the desk are from Ikea I did everything as affordably as I could, but like I said, I'm redoing a whole room. I, it's the same day, but I was so hot. Oh my gosh. Walking around with a mask on to all these stores, seven months pregnant with baby number three, 
and it's like super humid out I had to like refresh myself so I'm gonna just sit down and kind of show you guys what I got I feel kind of like that's why I don't usually do hauls because like when I go to Target or something sure I'll show that in a vlog but I've never like bought this much home decor stuff at one time so I feel kind of icky like look what I bought oh I spent a lot of money but I plan to bring a lot of this stuff back I just bought a lot so I can kind of play around and see how it all looks. I don't even really know like what where I'm putting anything. I just thought I'd buy a bunch that I really like, kind of have an idea in mind of where I want it. And then anything I don't like, I will just return. But I got some really good deals. Um, Hobby Lobby, I really scored. Um, Home Goods, I got a couple things at Target. Kirkland's was only by appointment, so I didn't go in there. And then Marshall's, I didn't end up getting anything. So I'm gonna sit down and show you guys everything. Party Roy. <laughs> oh my gosh. This cat, you guys. I did not even try to get him in the videos, and he is just a hilarious cat. So follow along, subscribe if you wanna see a hilarious cat in the background of all our videos. His name is Artichoke. Hi. Artichoke Roy, we adopted him about one year ago and he's super pesky but super cute. Before I get into this haul, can I say I am a hot mess. I am always a hot mess, but I especially feel like a hot mess now at seven months pregnant when I can barely bend over. Uh, somebody's going home with some DNA on uh, their whatever they buy. I don't even know what I scraped up against at Hobby Lobby, but I like kept shopping. Not, I just thought I grazed something and then I looked down and I'm like bleeding all over everything, so I'm sitting there, thank God I'm a mom and I have diapers in my diaper bag that I carry around. So I got that. Um, look at my nails, you guys. Look at my middle finger. This, I will put a picture of what it looked like. I don't know if you guys can see that very well. Yesterday, um, we were playing outside, me and my kids, and I went to like, our slides get really wet when it rains, you know, and so I was lifting one up to kind of help like get the water flowing to, before I wiped it off. And I somehow dropped it and it completely cut off. Um, these are acrylic nails. It's the first time I've ever like, I think it may be the first time I've ever had real acrylic nails, except maybe in high school. I don't remember. I've had these on for a week and I already chipped one and it chipped my also my real nail. So I had to like cut it down. Um, see, I'm a hot mess. Anyway. Let's get started with the Hobby Lobby stuff. Okay, so while most of this stuff is for our office, there are a few other random things I thought I would just show you guys. Um, at Hobby Lobby, they had, I'm really into, I'm a former, former child care provider slash still kind of a child care provider because I watch one child. If you wanna know why I am saying former, you can check out my video about quitting daycare. But um, I've been really into play and learning through play and stuff for many years now. And they have these little, what do they actually call them? Wood discs with bark um, at Hobby Lobby. Yes, they're probably not sanded down as like perfectly as they could be, but kids play with wood, they get splinters and stuff. If they're getting tons of splinters, I'll throw them out. But they were only like $4.49 for a big thing. And these are just great for open-ended play, stacking and mixing in with other blocks and things. So I'm really happy with that. I actually did this haul right before the 4th of July here in the United States, that's our Independence Day. So we do a lot of red, white, and blue. And since there's really not a whole lot going on, um, I thought I would make it a little more fun for our girls. I thought I might do a sensory bin. And I also got them some pinwheels. They love pinwheels. And um, <clears throat> they had this goopity glop kit and all the, 4th of July stuff was 50% off, I believe, um, if not more. And so there's like red and blue slime I thought I would make with our girls. Just really easy, it all comes in this one kit. Some other kind of random things. I wanted something for my desk, a little um, like day, page a day calendar. And this one's for moms. I love the colors of it. This was 10 dollars It says moments for moms. I got some metallic gold leaf Krylon spray paint just in case I end up wanting to spray anything. There's a couple things that I bought that I might spray, one of which are the letters WLG. I want somewhere in this office, either on the wall or um, on a shelf. So I bought three different versions of those. They didn't have any small wooden letters that could sit on a shelf because I was thinking of putting them on this white shelf and having them in the background with this color. Um, or I was gonna do like a mint green, but I couldn't decide on the paint colors. So. I ended up getting the like cardboard or paper mache. I got them two different sizes. So I will just 
end up returning whatever set of WLG I don't end up using, or two sets, because I got three different sets. So these ones are pretty small, like I have pretty small hands. They're pretty small, so these could sit like on a shelf, and I would spray paint them. I just, I hope they would hold up well to spray paint, even though they're like cardboard material. And then I got a little bit bigger. Did I already say WLG is for work-life glue? I hope I did. Um, so like compared to my hand, they're like this size. And I don't know how much these were a piece. $2.99 a piece. The other ones were $1.99. And holy Toledo, I did not look at the price of these. No wonder by the time I got to the end, I was like, how did the price jack up so high? These are considered wall decor, so they were cheaper. But normally they're $30 and I got three letters. So I spent uh, $50 basically on letters. Hopefully these will not be the ones I go with, but I do really like them, so we'll see. So I got this big W, like it's a few of my hands, but you can hang it on the wall or you can set it on a surface. So W, L, G. I did not realize how much money these ones were. That's crazy. Um, we'll see if I keep those. Yeah, really pretty though. Okay, um, some other kind of random stuff. I have wanted some like natural type trivets or coast uh, chargers or whatever they call them. What do they call these? It doesn't say. Um, like trivet charger things for our, for like family get togethers. These ones will match any time of year. They'd be beautiful for um, Thanksgiving, Christmas, you know, anything really looks good on it. So I got a bunch of these. These were in the spring shop. So normally they're $7.99. So I got them for $3.50 each. I got eight of them because we can seat at least eight at our table in our dining room. I saw this beautiful, um, I don't know, little tray. Um, it's just got this really pretty like dimpled effect. This was $11.99, this was full price. I just thought I could put like staplers on it or I don't really know. You know, I'll find something to do with it, but it's just really pretty. Okay, so that's all the like random stuff. The rest is like, decor and wall decor. So I got a bunch of different wall decor that just kind of spoke to me. Some of which I had in mind and some of which I didn't. So I got this Choose Happy. So I really want this space to inspire me and give me, you know, good vibes when I'm in here. I'll probably do my morning routine in here soon once I get it all set up. So already stop fighting everything. I love this. It's got that kind of corally pink color. I don't know if you guys can read that. It says today or make good use of today and it's got the gold on it. It's just super pretty and I love that quote. I also got some pieces that I thought I could just throw on the shelf. Um, so I got hashtag mom life. This, oh, let's see. This one was, which was this? All the wall decor was half off. So this one was only $12.50. This one was originally $13.99, so it was $7. And this one had the orange tag of clearance. This was only $2.99, so that was awesome. I wanted to reflect my love for coffee, so this was $14.99 originally, so I got it for $7.50. And then I thought this was really pretty to have above my desk, and it's got the colors that I like, the gold and the gold frame. And it says, this week, Monday love, Tuesday love. Just a good reminder of what I stand for, and at the end of the day, like what all this work and stuff that I put out is all about is loving and giving back to others. These next ones were the score of the century. So I have wanted, I was thinking instead of a cork board, I would do some of these metal grid boards. Normally they are $29.99, but these were all on clearance for $2.99. I got them 90% off. I ended up getting three just because I don't know exactly where I want to hang them. Um, but you guys, I got $100 worth basically, or $90 worth for $9. That is just insane. And they were all in perfect condition. I'm guessing they just didn't sell. And so it was my lucky day. I was super excited about that. I really, really, really love abstract art like this. I have been wanting to buy like an original piece, but they're so expensive and I just, I can't commit. But I saw this one with the perfect color scheme and it was only $2.99. So I thought it would work well like if I do a gallery wall with a bunch of this stuff. I just think it's really, really pretty. And then I also got this that says, stay humble, work hard, and then be kind. Um, I don't ever want to forget to do those things. This was originally 30, so it was $15. I really, really, really love this mirror. Um, I hope 
hopefully I can hold it so it's not like blinding you guys. Um, <laughs> I don't, you'll just see the tripod, I guess. But it's got this really pretty like geometric feel. It's got the gold. It was originally $80, so it was $40. So I don't know if I'm gonna like this because it is so reflective. I was thinking of putting it above the sofa, but I just don't know with filming if that will work out or I might put it on a different wall. But um, if it doesn't work, I'm definitely returning it to get my $40 back. But I think it's so pretty. It's so pretty. And then before I found the metal grid displays for $2.99 each, I found this giant white cork board. Um, so I probably will return this, but I just kind of wanted to see the different options. Maybe I won't like the metal display boards. Um, and this was normally 70, so I got it for 35. So we'll see, but I love the chunky white frame on it. I didn't get a whole lot at Home Goods, but I really love the stuff I did find. I found this really pretty, like, I don't know, Jack, like if you were playing Jacks. It's metal, it's gold. I thought it would just be really pretty on that shelf unit. Um, as just a decor piece. And this was $13, which is a little spendy in my opinion, but it's just, really pretty. For my desk, I wanted to find something to put pens and pencils and stuff in, and I, I love polka dots, so I thought this was super cute. It's white with gold polka dots. Thought it would sit perfectly on my desk and fit right in to my decor and my slightly quirky style, I guess. And this was only $8.99 or $7.99, so that was a great deal. A lot of them I was seeing were like 20 bucks or more. I found this thing of potpourri or like face filler. I really like the colors in it. It had some really like natural colors, but also some of that mint green in it mixed in. I just thought it was really pretty to just fill something with. And this was $9.99. And then I also got this bad boy. I don't know if you guys can see it, um, I went back and forth of if I would like this. So this is my other option for above the couch, potentially, or it could go back on this wall up above. Um, it's just really cute. It's got a place to put different things. Um, so I don't really know. It's not reflective, so that would work well. I just didn't know how I would like it. And my other idea was just like a big art piece um, behind the couch or above the couch. I just can't decide. Let me know what you guys think. I'm having a really hard time. And that big round piece was $50. Okay, and lastly, Target. Like I said, I didn't get anything at Kirkland's because I couldn't go in there. And Marshall's, I didn't find anything I liked. And I didn't end up going to Goodwill or anything. Um, so at Target, I got this really pretty calendar. It is white with gold accent. Um, I just like how minimalistic it is. What I like to do, um, for planning videos and stuff. I don't like a dry erase because I like to plan out like a few months at a time. And so I usually use post-it notes. Um, I cut them down to size to fit in the calendar and then I can always move stuff around because I change my mind a lot or things come up or whatnot. So that way I can move it around. I don't really love, I mean, I do love these colors, but I don't love how they might look on the wall with everything else. So if you guys know of any like better, um, more neutral colors of post-its, that are varying colors but aren't quite so bright, let me know. I guess I could look on Amazon for that, but I picked up these as well. It's school supply season, even though who knows if anybody's going back to school. I got this rubber band ball. I just, you know, it's an office, so I'm gonna need some duplicates of things that I have upstairs so I don't have to run upstairs when I'm down here. Cause upstairs is more like our home office type stuff and down here will be more business related stuff. So I also got a pack of dry erase markers because I picked up a dry erase board a couple weeks ago. I got some colored friction fine liner pens, some Sharpies, a bunch of colorful mechanical pencils, Party boy. <laughs> some highlighters, these really pretty scissors. They're like a rainbow and then they've got the mint green on the handle. This kind of fun ruler. Um, it's got three different sides, which I thought was cool. And then just some index cards because I'm constantly writing lists on random pieces of paper all the time. So that is everything, guys. I know that was a lot. I spent a lot of money today, more than I think I've ever spent out shopping for home decor ever. Like I said, a lot of like the frame stuff's probably gonna go back or repurposed or something I don't really know yet 
but um, like I said, I'm starting from scratch on this room and I just wanted to buy a bunch at once because I don't get out very much by myself and I don't really want to be taking my kids in and loading up and it's just chaos. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what was your favorite part. If you have any ideas for what I should do above the couch, let me know. And let me know if you have any other ideas for any other part of the room. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you next time. Bye guys.